Most smartphones are great at capturing vision, but as for the sound, it can be a little bit hit and miss. But that's where a lav mic comes in. So what is a lav mic and how do you use them? Well, they're easy to use and I'm gonna show you how. Hey there, welcome to Fish Tales with Tim. We normally do travel and adventure videos on this channel, but sometimes we do tech videos too, and today is one of those days. We hope you like what you see, and if you do, why not consider subscribing? So first of all, what is a lav mic? Well, a lav mic is also known as a lavalier microphone or a lapel mic, and you might have seen them used by newsreaders or talk show hosts or even politicians. They are small, unobtrusive microphones that can be attached to a speaker's clothing, like their shirt or their jacket or even their cap. Lav mics are omnidirectional microphones, which means they pick up sound equally from all around the microphone head. Lav mics come in handy because you can place them close to a speaker's mouth, which means you can isolate their voice, which is especially useful in a noisy or an outdoor setting. The microphone that I'm using today is the Rode Smart Lav Plus. Now this one is especially made for mobile devices like iPads and mobile phones. It's a great little microphone which picks up crystal clear sound. I'll put a link for it in the description below. The only downside I've found with this microphone is the cord that comes with it, which is around about one meter long. This is great if you're filming up close, but if you want to record somebody speaking who's further away, you may need to buy an extension cable, and I'll include the link to that one in the description below as well. The microphone also comes with this handy pop shield, which limits wind noise when you're filming outside, and plosives, which are those popping sounds that you might hear when people say words with p or k or t sounds in them. Okay, without further ado, let's show you how easy it is to assemble and use a lav microphone. Thread the mic through the clip clasp. Attach the pop shield. Open the clip and feed the mic lead through, leaving a small loop. To make it look even more professional, we are going to add another loop and gently press the cable into the groove on the other side of the clip. Connecting the microphone to your smartphone is dead easy. All you need to do is grab the connector end and plug it into the headphone jack on the bottom of your Android microphone. If you are using an iPhone, you will need to buy a lightning to headphone connector, which costs around about $10. You simply connect the lightning connector into the base of your iPhone and then the lav mic into the headphone connector and then voila, you are good to go. It's really easy to attach the lav mic to clothing. A handy tip is to tape the cable to the inside of the garment to minimize any noise if the speaker moves. Now we're going to show you the difference between recording with your smartphone microphone and how it sounds when you add a lav mic. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! All right, right now we're testing the sound here on the microphone, the lav mic. It's actually located on my collar about one hand span uh, below my mouth and it's can hear the sound is a hell of a lot better, even though it's really, really noisy. Looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna try the sound without the lav mic. So it's just getting picked up by the sound from the Samsung microphone. It's really noisy and probably a little bit harder to hear me than the other example. All right, so right now we are recording on the Apple iPhone and I have the lav mic all hooked up. It's about one hand span or roughly about six inches beneath my mouth. And this is how good it sounds with the lav mic in a noisy location, like right now on the edge of a busy road. Well, normally a busy road here in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. All right, so we're recording outside right now and all we're using for a microphone pickup is the onboard microphone on the Apple iPhone 7. Well, there you go. I really hope you got something out of that and I hope you've learned now how lav mics can really up the game when it comes to recording sound using your smartphone. 
It's a little bit of a different setup when it comes to hooking up a lav mic to an SLR camera or a GoPro, but we will cover that in a future video. Hey, I really hope you got some value out of this video, and if you did, please let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you have any tips or tricks about lav mics, or if you have a favorite lav mic, let me know down there as well. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching, and before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which is over here, and the like button, which should be over there somewhere. And until next time, I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. Really hope you enjoyed that last video. Why not stick around and check another one? Like, that's a goodie. Actually, that's a pretty good one too. All right, see you later.